other question in the chat. And the question goes, is it possible to reverse that if you've already put her on a pedestal? The answer is yes. But I say that with the caveat of, I'm going to say, yes, it's possible, but you can't force it to happen. And that's probably going to be frustrating because I know in my 20s when I was trying to make it happen, it was to me. But when I first started studying this stuff, one of the things I learned early on was that I was being too present. I was being there too much. I was trying to beg for this woman's approval. I'd already told her that I liked her because I thought she liked me too. And she did until I said, I like you. And then all things went haywire. So I had to like learn the lesson of leave her the freak alone. Don't text her. Don't call her. Don't stop by her apartment to drop in and say, oh my God, what's going on? And I had to do that. Well, it was easy because at that time I was on a I was on a break from school where I was taking a theater tour for five months. And that's when I started studying up on the ins and outs of dating. And that's where I learned the lesson of like, oh, dude, you were saying all your feelings. You were doing all these things. So if you just take a step back, what will happen is this. And, and men don't understand this because we're like, we're very, we're very permanent creatures. We're like, if this thing happens, then I'm just, it's over forever and it's a wrap. And so what I've learned with women is that they kind of move in this ebb and flow where it's like, I call it the land of maybe, where it's like, maybe I'll talk to the person, maybe I won't. And they'll gear more towards maybe I definitely will if a guy's doing all the right things and maybe I definitely won't if a guy's doing more of the wrong things. So I found that by listening and just saying, you know what, I'm not going to reach out to her and contact her. After about two months, she was writing me, hey, Harry, I just want to see how you're doing. Hope the tour is going well. I really miss you. Hope you can contact me. And I was 21 years old at this point. I was like floored because I'd never had a woman tell me in any kind of capacity that she missed me in a way that sounded like darn it romantic. And then sure enough, the next time I was in town, uh, I was able to go by her place and I opened the door and she's just all in lingerie. And I, I was 21. I was still a virgin. And I still didn't know that women could change their mind like that. Like I was like, okay, we went from she, I told her I had a crush on her. And then she started ignoring me to then two months later, she's sending me messages like, Hey, I miss you. I want to see you soon. And then she invites me over. And first of me seeing her in two months, she's just at the door in lingerie. Like this has got to be a fluke. This isn't happening. I'm just going to assume this is what she wears on a Saturday. Do, 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 do. And I totally messed it up. But hindsight lesson learned, which is that if you have put her on a pedestal, she needs proof that you are not actually that obsessed with her. And that starts with no contact. Like, and I say no contact, like you're not waiting a month of no contact before you contact her. It's like, no, you full on say, well, I'm not contacting her ever again. I'm going to focus on other women. And then, but I found by doing that, there is a chance that she'll reach out. And when women reach out, they don't be like, hey, I miss you. What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. Usually they'll just be like, hey, what's going on? Hi, how are you? They're going to text you like they did nothing. Like they weren't just gone from your life for two or three months. And when this happens, you don't call them out. Where have you been? Are you, why are you talking about? You just be like, oh, hey, what's up? How, how you been? I'm doing good. What's up? And she'll probably say like, oh, nothing. Just want to see how you were. Hey, I'm doing great. You know what? I'm, I'm busy right now, but I'd love to catch up. Let me know when you have some free time. Boom. Leave it at that and then go. And then from there, again, I stress, if this woman reaches out to you, the worst thing you could do is start doing the behavior that shows that you still have her on a pedestal. You need to, she, if she left you, if she ignored you, you do not now come back into her again with princess behavior. Like you treat it as though until she actually shows that she's going to be around for a bit, she has to earn your attention. She'll probably hit you up. Hey, I wondered if like, maybe we could be free to this, this, and that. And your response needs to be, I actually have something to do that night, but hey, let's do something the next night. Like, let her know you have other stuff going on. Be vague about it. Don't tell her whether you're seeing another person or not. Just be like, I already made plans for that night, which also shows her now that you're not sitting around the phone waiting for her to contact you in hopes that she's going to give you life again. Like, you need to be doing stuff without her already. And also, let's, let's just be real, okay? Because I'm an older dude. All the women that I had, like, these huge crushes on back in the day, I don't think about it for the most part now, except when I'm doing this show. And so you move on. Like you eventually move on. You actually find women that are going to be better. Like I know right now you're thinking this girl has got to be the one. And I felt that same way about all these girls I had crushes on. And now years later, I don't feel a thing for any of them. And it's a lot easier when you haven't slept with them when it's like, okay, they just moved on to somebody else. It is what it is. And I've gone on to find my own stuff or whatever. Right. But suffice to say, like these girls that you think are, that, that are worthy of being put on the pedestal, you will discover in five years, you're not even thinking about them. Like real talk. So just treat it like that now. Treat it like, oh, if, if she if she contacts you in two months, like, oh, this girl's trying to talk to me now. Okay, well, hey, what's up? 
I mean, I guess if you want to see me, I'm free, okay, whatever. Like, don't put on that pedestal again, because then trust me, she will run out twice as fast, you know? But in the meantime, really study up on what it is that you were possibly doing. This goes back to that video about input output. Look at what inputs what I were I putting in that resulted in her wanting to ghost me. And how can I reverse that? Because that really is it. Like, again, as guys, we fall for their pretty shell and think, oh my God, they're so great. Every girl's better than me. And they're really not. Like, in fact, most women, the fact that women are, are more often not hypergamous and are looking for guys that make more money than them or more fit than them indicates that women want men that are actually better than them. And those men need to view themselves as such, you know? So just some food for thought, but hopefully that helps you out.